Where we camp in the Crow's Nest Pass, sometimes it's very windy. So we decided to use green outdoor carpets. They're a lot more stable in windy conditions than the plastic mats that most people like to use. In order to keep them down though, in extreme wind, we decided to use a grommet system and stake them down to our lot. Here's an example of some of the problems that you'll see with these plastic mats. You can see underneath this trailer across from us, that plastic mat they put down is one of those generic mats you can get at Costco or Walmart um, or most trailer stores and it's just ripped up and blowing. You really have to weight it down out here. And It's very windy. We prefer these kinds of carpets over the plastic type just for the wind. It's very stable. They're very heavy and well, we still need to stake them down though. That's our plan. We're going to take these nine great big long spikes and we're going to stake them down. What I do need is grommets in the ground. So I need to put grommets in the holes like I just finished doing and I'm going to show you how we did that. We just used a simple grommet kit. It's from Colons. You can pick them up almost every camping store. It's just a few bucks. So what you get in there is you get a cutting tool. You get a uh, punch set right there. You get the base, which is what you're gonna punch into. You get the washer uh, set of them, a whole bag of them, and you get the grommet top itself, and the whole thing together once you're done will make the grommet just like this. It's actually pretty easy. What you wanna do have ready is a spare block of wood that you can tap into. Um, you wanna have a hammer ready. In lieu of being two hours away from where I am, where my hammer is, I'm using the back of my ax. So, we're gonna get to work on this one right away. And that's called improvising for those of you who are wondering why we're using an axe instead of a hand. So while Brian's getting ready to do the next grommet hole, you can see our two dogs, Kennedy and Gibson, being very good. I will tell you, they are absolute angels about 50% of the time. So this is one of those rare occasions. And of course, they're right next to the axe that we're using instead of a hammer. So you set up your wood block. Just under the corner we're going to do it. We're going to do it under this one for now. So in this case, we're going to use this sharpened punch. We're going to stick it out here. I've got about a thumb's width from each of the corners. So this is why I decided I'm doing. And we're going to tap this a bunch of times until it cuts all the way through the fabric. Note to self, do not hit your fingers with an ax. It has cut through. We'll pull this fabric right out and you might make sure there's an actual hole there, which is what you want. We're gonna line up the base to roughly where we were just were. And it lines up. We're gonna take the washer with the raised portion on the middle. We're gonna line that right up to the hole, nice and easy. And it's gonna sit on the base just perfect. We're going to put the grommet cap on there and it'll seat right. As soon as you put the punch in, it'll line up and it'll just have everything centered for you. And you just need to tap this a few times. Rotate it a little bit as you're doing it. And that'll make sure it's a nice even press all the way through. Okay. Once you're done, you'll have a fully completed grommet all the way through and ready for you to use. So our plan is to stick it down like that tack that right into the ground. And here's the mats, all finished. Hey, if you're interested in the product, we'll put a link in the description. Hi there, we're making turkey burgers on the grill tonight. Nothing better than turkey burgers over the fire. So we have homemade buns and um, we have now cheeseburgers we've made with turkey burgers on the grill. So good, these are my absolute favorite thing.
After dinner, we decided to take the dogs for a walk. There's Crown Land located just behind the campground, and it's about a five minute hike from our front door down to the Crow's Nest River. The Crow's Nest River runs from west to east and is a great place to take the dogs for a quick swim or just a place to sit and enjoy the view. One of the reasons we chose to lease our current seasonal lot here in the Crow's Nest Pass was this spectacular view of the mountains and this beautiful river that runs not five minutes from our front door. We can come down for a swim with the dogs on a hot day, we can canoe, we can fish, we can come down and read a book and just watch the scenery flow by. After a peaceful walk down to the Crow's Nest River, it was time to head back to camp for the night. If you enjoyed this episode, please make sure that you give it a like and leave your comments below. Of course, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so you know when we've released our latest video. Camp in harmony, everyone!